Welcome to Red V TV, supported by Chapel House Cars for the 2024 season. As we continue our build up to Saints 2024 Super League campaign, and with 26 days to go, Kevin. It can only mean one thing our number 26, Ben Lane. And Ben is sponsored by the Imperial Exiles Group. Imperial Exiles fans group based over in Warrington. Um, glad to see their unending support um, for the young lads in the squad. I think they've been sponsors for, for many years now, haven't they, Kevin? Um, mm. And continuing their sponsorship of Ben Lane for 2024. Right, Kev. Um, two appearances for Ben Lane in 2022. What happened last season? Um, my honest answer is I don't know. Um, I don't know what, what happened. We obviously didn't see him in and around the 21-man squad, whether it was a bit of injury, a loss of form. Um, I, I couldn't tell you, and I think it's unfair for me to properly speculate uh, on, on what happened. So what does he need to do in 2024? Well, well, let's let's start with almost the positives with Ben. Ben gives you a lot of utility value. You can play half back. That's originally where he started out. He's played wing for the first team and he can play full back. What Ben needs is possibly a bit of luck with injury and being able to to get a sustained run in the reserves, or whether it's on dual reg or on loan somewhere. Um and he needs to take his cues from the likes of, and we'll, I know we mention him time and time again, but the likes of John Benison, who gets in there and works hard, because Ben has that little bit of pace as well about him, so can, can add something different to your back line. Um, I'm hoping that he can stay fit, because that utility value for a young for a young man who's who could come into your first team and play a number of positions, I think he's crucial. Moses and Bai can play in the halves. But if you've got a little bit of a, a, an injury crisis where two of your um, two of your spine are injured, you might need someone just to slot in there who, who can do something a little bit different if, you, if you're moving players about. So hopefully, if he gets a chance somewhere... He just needs to take it. He needs to just just grab it. And and as I say, I hope that the the gods of luck are on his side this season. He does turn twenty one um, at the end of this year. He is in the second year of his of his two year deal. Is it fair to say that this is a make or break year for him at Saints? If he if he's going to have a future at the club, he needs to come through this season. If he if he wants to be retained in 2025, especially with the, the the young lads chomping at the heels coming through the academy and the reserves as well to, to take up these slots in the squad. Yeah, we're, I think we'll mention this quite a bit with, with the players who are kind of in the middle of the squad. It's not necessarily make or break, but it's a big season for him um, because he may well get offered a one-year deal at the end of the year if he does enough. If he's the right fit for the salary cap, for the position we need, for the experience he gets next year, for the fact that he is developed a little bit more than your lads who are kind of have just come into the, the first team squad, then it could be that could be key. That's well, it is going to be key for him. Because otherwise it is it's it's a it's a career away from Saints, isn't it? Um and I think that he's got to be better than those lads who are coming up behind him and he's got to prove himself better than or be as good as the lads who are ahead of him. And by that, I'm looking at the likes of he's played on the wing. I'm looking at the likes of T. Ritson. I'm looking at the likes of John Benison, who he, that's probably his easiest way into the team. He's not going to get in at six if Johnny Lomax is fit. He's not going to get in at one with Jack Wellsby fit. And you'd imagine John Benison is the first choice to go at the bat there. So wing is probably his best spot where we're, we're still umming and ahhing over who's going to be there. I'd expect him to be down the pecking order now, um, just because that's how it is. He's not made the appearances that John Medison, the T. Ritson have made. But that's what he should be aiming for. If he can get a couple of appearances, if he can get a couple of runs out, 
this season because he's doing what John Benison's done in the past because we have got fitness issues, because we have got suspension issues or whatever, and we've got to change that back line up. It would be important for him to take that opportunity and to make sure that in them opposed training sessions or if he goes out on Jill Reg alone, like I've mentioned, he is making the coaching staff sit up and think, we need to get him in this squad. Yeah, my my fear for for Ben this year at Saints is there just happens to be too much traffic ahead of him um, for him to be even given the opportunity to play first team. Um, you obviously, you've mentioned like wing spots ahead of him. Options, you've got obviously Tommy Makinson, T. Ritson, Wanga Blake could play there, John Benison can play there. We'd almost rotate other players round before you'd turn to Ben. If that situation is to change, I think he's going to have to go out. Now, he, he did make two appearances for North Wales Crusaders in 2023, and obviously he played for the reserves. But I think if he wants to get some first-team games under his belt, it's going to have to be outside of the club, where he's going to have to try and show something for him to be given the opportunity. Yeah, and uh, as I say, and I'll, I'll keep going back to the John Benison thing, if he's putting the efforts in and he can't look away from him and he provides something that, I don't know, say John picks up a little knock and T. Ritson's picked up a knock and you're looking at, right, we can shift it about, we can put Blake on the wing and have Connie coming in. This lad's got a future here. This is his route into the first team. And this is all on Ben. If if Ben will be given the opportunity if he shows what he can do. But it's on him. It's not on the coaching staff to give it. Nothing's given out for free at this club. Um so I, I hope it I hope it works out for him, whatever happens. Um but as you say, I think I can see him play more at Swinton this year or uh, for the reserves. And if we've got another dual reg partner, as I say, it was North Wales last year. I can see him doing more over there, but he just needs to be in and about that 21-man squad a little bit more and that utility value of being able to play full-back wing and standoff. It should stand him in good stead. I suppose you look at the likes of... He didn't play against um, Swinton in the, in the first trial match. And Ben Davis played six and was the tiller for uh, George Whitby to, to be the spark. Ben Davis has probably got that, that ahead of him. Uh, and still, I think Moses and Bayer are probably playing the halves more than Ben Davis. So, if, as I say, he's probably struggling to get in there. But if he aims for a, a wing spot rather than a six spot, you just need to get in the team. A load of greats came in and didn't necessarily start at fullback. They've started on the wing and then moved or been in the team. You look, James Roby's played on the wing for Saints and then settled in his natural position. Johnny Lomax has played on the wing for Saints and settled in his natural position. If there is the possibility. It's probably one that you wouldn't necessarily stake your house on, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's our number 26, Ben Lane, done and dusted. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another player preview. Don't forget to hit the like, the share, or the subscribe button. Catch you soon. <laughs>